What's up guys? Welcome back into Anno 1800. I do apologize for the lack of content on the channel here lately. Real life has been kicking my butt completely. Unfortunately, I can't make a living off of YouTube at the moment, so, you know, gotta work, gotta have a real life, gotta have a job, and all those things, and it's just been a little nuts. But I finally have a little time to do some recording, so let's get about an hour's worth of episode in and see how things go. Oh god, what was I doing? I don't even remember, because it's been, uh, I think it's been like four days since I last uploaded an episode, but it's actually been about a week since I last played, because I record early and then like, try to get stuff posted later on for you all, so it's been a minute. Uh, right, we had gotten to engineers, I had gushed over the, uh, the new buildings for the engineers, I, had, I just absolutely gushing over them. They looked so awesome. And I see something that's already bothering me here. This, this is bothering me. This has been bothering me. And we're going to fix it now. Okay, well, I don't want the skyscraper. I want that. There. Okay, that's fixed. It's no longer bothering me. This will all get changed up later on. I won't leave the church there. But for right now, that works better for me. Okay. Uh, right. I was wanting to try to work on the passage stuff still. Which means I need people. Promised land, yes. Financial powerhouse, yes. Publish away. You can rely on us. Okay, let's see if the Rachel is able to do anything. This is the eye Where is the Rachel? There's Rachel. Okay. So that gave us nav and hunting. We just don't have anything really good. And it stinks. Let's take some rations and medicine. We don't have enough bread for faith. We're kind of running low on a few things, aren't we? Hmm. Take that for more hunting. Something gave me force. Uh, what was it? It's hunting, faith, hunting. It was something weird. Wasn't it like beef? Yeah, beef gives you force, oddly enough, but not much. Okay. Let's, uh... Who can we go talk to? Who might... At your service. Right. Not everything of yours is out he the can. Office. All right, let's see. Brick factories, concrete. Fa Ooh, occasionally produces extra steel beams. Give, please. <laughs> Give. <laughs> that is going to be helpful. That's not what I came up here for. I came up here because I wanted to find, like, a bosun or somebody. That's a gunner. Tugboatman. That's, that's pretty good. We're about to spend a little bit of money, but this is going to be extraordinarily worth it. And as much as I would love to have some of these other ones, I just I just can't do it at the moment. I have a very specific thing that I need. Guides, repairmans, merchants. Yeah, okay. Let's bring these down and give these to the Rachel On our way. and see if that does any better. We might actually give it to the frigate as well. We'll, uh, we'll see. That should get us to where we could do the passage finally, because I would love to get to the passage before we like try to dig into any of this other stuff here. We also need to think about concrete. Alright, where is the limestone at? Wow, it's way over there. 
Now let's go way over here and get us limestone started. Get us a little a uh, little warehouse going. There's another iron deposit right there that we can tap into. I'm just gonna use these warehouses for right now. Uh, there was no coal on this island. That is right. No coal around here. So we're gonna have to do kilns. So we're gonna do a couple of kilns here. Okay. Now, we have two of these already. Mostly because, yeah, I was building a weapons factory. Okay. Let's get a concrete plant in and we will see what our numbers are looking like. Oh, this is all just such a mess over here. Oh, I hate it. It's such a mess. I need to go and re I need to redesign all of this right here because I can't I can't stand it. Absolutely can't stand it. Cuz it's such a it's such a just a mess of buildings. You know what? Let's do that. Let's do a little redesign here. Because this is this is bad. I mean, I'm not exactly the world's best when it comes to uh, efficient layouts, but I would like to think I can do better than this. This is just downright awful. Although I do like that. A little uh, little warehouses right there. I do like that. Come there. You could come here. Let's uh let's put you right there for the time being. Let's just get you like out of the way basically for right now. I'm going to move these artisanal kitchens just, you know, somewhere completely out of the way. Wait, why are you saying you're not connected? Oh. It's because you weren't connected. Whoops. Yeah, I'm going to move these artisanal kitchens completely and totally out of the way because at some point I am going to not need them anymore. So I don't want to incorporate them into the city layout. Okay, that'll do there. Uh, let's move him to there. Okay. Let's take that road out for the moment. Let's put him there. We'll put him right there. There? Yeah? Yeah? All right, this is starting to starting to look like something. Don't know what. It's starting to look like something better than it was. Okay, then I can fit me one of those guys somewhere else, like right here. There we go. That's a little bit better. A little bit better use of my space. I have some space for other stuff that can go in later. I like that. Okay, good. We are happy with that. Uh, yeah, you are going... Okay, come here. Alright, Rachel. You take that and that for the moment. Uh, we're going to offload the telescope. Game save. 
Okay, apparently the the apparently this thing does not count as a military ship. That's fine. We'll try the frigate. Okay, go there. Go there. Uh, unassigned from expedition. The twist of coral then. Don't come with doubts. Yeah, that's getting a lot better right there. Twist of coral. Okay. So we're going to take some rum. And we're going to take some... I saw something else for hunting that I could have used. Um, coal? Crafting. Hunting. 67% morale. It's not a lot. Well. You know what? Screw it. We're going to do it. I'm tired, of, I'm tired of waiting around. This may be a terrible idea. But we're going to give it a shot. We're going to stick that in there too. We just have to be very, very cautious with our use of everything and see if we can't do this. Uh, okay, so we did get a new little item. Brick factories and concrete factories produce extra steel beams. We're going to plop him in there. And then what I also would like to do is to move our brickworks over to here so they can take advantage of that as well. Um, let's see how best I can make this happen. So we don't produce a lot of bricks. We will be producing a lot of concrete. So maybe I don't want to move that just yet. Yeah, maybe I won't do that just yet. Move the brickworks down there because they don't really fit in with all of this. I know it's a silly thing, but you know, they don't. They don't really fit in with all this. Yeah, that's going to go to the New World. Okay. Oh, let's see. I have a quest here. Quest, quest, quest. There you are. Quest. Spare a, thought for us. a delivery quest for work clothes. Oh, eight sewing machines. Okay. And you're going to give me... A little love is all uh, maintenance minus 50%. Eh, no, not all that great. Let's... uh. Let's get the Rachel. Let's load up some items that we're not going to want over here. And also maybe do some selling. Okay, so we don't want him. Um, we're going to keep the spyglass just for the moment. What can we sell? We have a whole lot of glass, actually. Let's go sell some glass. Take that up to Eli. Nice little constant income of 1500 from all those sales. Not bad. Archie has a quest for us. Pull up your braces An escort quest for... Unknown. Basically like 32k. You know what? I'll take that. To the edge of the world. So Don't he's off the coast of that. Oh, that's my clipper. I don't want that. Let's go sell that, and we'll take the flagship and the brigantine. There's a nice 31k right there as well. And let's grab ourselves... Oh, we can build a, a... Oh, okay, that's a large, reliable trade ship. 
upkeep cost 225. You know, influence of two. Four cargo slots and three item slots. That is uh, quite a bit nicer than the clipper. Very, very nice. All right, nah, very cool. We're going to build ourselves another frigate, though. Uh, actually, we're going to build ourselves. Uh, no, we can only build one more frigate. That's fine. We'll just build one more frigate for right now. We'll wait till that frigate is done, and then we will use the uh, the frigate. We'll have a little sh uh, fleet of three ships. What did I build you for? Or did I just build you as extra? I should really watch my previous episodes so I know what the heck I was doing. Because I don't quite remember. Oh, well. I did notice some stuff low, so let's take a look at our... At our consumer goods. Uh, we're low on clothes... Okay, that's an easy fix. Farmers, sheep farms. We do have a new little uh, town that we have started right up here. So we can go right here and get ourselves some more, a little more happening. I'm put that over there. Okay, that ought to take care of that. I wish this thing would default over here. That would be lovely. Sausage and bread are right on the uh, cusp of running out. So is beer. And that, okay, what's wrong with our... Huh. Fresh as a daisy here. No, those are all working just fine. And I know it's not full. Uh, where's that? No, no, it's on 58. But it says it's going up slowly, so it's okay. What else we got? What else do we have? Sewing machines right on the money. Same with furs. So we're, we're kind of like just right on the uh, edge of having everything we need. We could turn some of this off, possibly, that we don't need them having access to. Um, I do need workers, though, so I don't want to turn that off for them and that. Once we get 30, we can build our first set of commuter piers, and I'm probably going to build our first set of commuter piers to go between these two islands right here. That's what I'm thinking. How close are we to having this ship right here done? Getting close. Here it is. All right, fleet, come on down. And I'm going to leave you all with the uh, sweet v overview of my city for just a moment because my phone is ringing and it's a phone call I have to take, unfortunately. I'm very sorry about this. Give me like two minutes and I will be right back. If I knew how to video edit, I would just cut this out or I might try that. I don't know how to edit videos, so, you know, there's a thing. I'm a YouTuber that doesn't know how to edit videos. But I've got to take this phone call, guys. I'm very, very sorry. I'll be right back. Save. 
Okay, guys, I'm very sorry about that. I am back. That was a client for work that I have been trying to get in touch with to confirm some changes on a job. Had to take that call. But got back just in time. So we can start our little escort right here. All right, well, while that's happening, we're waiting for our expedition. I think our expedition did uh, get out there. Yeah, it is on out. I'm really hoping that we succeed. Oh, it's already done. Well, that was easy. <laughs> okay, whatever. Where did that crappy book go? Was that a crappy book? That was a really crappy book. That All that work, and I didn't realize they were just escorting it right there. Whatever. That's fine. Uh, we are 23 minutes left on our ceasefire. Let's flatter her. Let's ask for a quest. She doesn't have a quest for us at the moment. That's fine. Uh, Madame Kahina has a quest for us, though. A delivery quest for 9,000. I could do that. We will take the Enterprise and go pick up the uh, Bounteous Clipper. Or we go pick up at the Bounteous Clipper. And while we're doing that, I guess we can... Uh, oh, wait, no, we can't because I don't have this ready to upgrade yet. So I didn't want to do that until we are making spectacles. Right. Uh, worst case scenario. Publish away. No, I don't want to an alliance with you. That's fine. Go away. Oh, we need quite a bit more before we can think about now someone in my last video said hey why don't you use gas power instead of uh, oil and sorry I had to stretch all of a sudden um I honestly uh, this is gonna sound weird I don't know what you're talking about <laughs> I mean I'm assuming that's something from the new DLC but I don't have the new D I have not played the new DLC yet so I don't know exactly what that entails so once we get up there and we unlock it, I will gladly look at gas power. Uh, another delivery quest for 9,700. He wants eight potatoes. I can give you eight potatoes. I'll even give you, hell, I'll give you a bunch of potatoes. I have a lot of potatoes. Here. Here, have potatoes. Lots and lots of potatoes. But yeah, I will uh, I will be more than happy to look into the gas power thing once I get up there. But I just don't really know what that that is because I have not played the new DLC at all. I know it's been out for a little bit now, and I still haven't done it just because I have been so busy. Okay, the expedition requires your attention. What we got? An Arctic welcome. Uh oh. Oh, I have to make a choice. Oh. Well. Um. Let's go south. Okay. As you near the coast, a large human construction delineates itself, most probably an abandoned trading post of the Huddleston Bay Company. It leans hard into the wind, its once red boards now scoured pale. If Sir John and his crew came this way, they would likely have stopped here. How are we going to get there, sir? Says the ship's boy. He has noticed that an ice sheet lies between your ship and your trading post. Uh, we can take the safest route by avoiding the cracks, or we can measure the thickness of the ice. Let's try measuring the thickness of the ice. The ship's carpenters improvise with a rotary drill. It takes a fair bit of effort to get it turning, suggesting the ice is pretty solid. The first measurement is 11 inches, no hazard even for a sizable group to pass over. Every few steps a new reading is taken, but it proves a mere formality since the readings change very little. They make the abandoned building without incident. Okay. So let's provide extra rations and continue. Alright, I need to start looking into spectacles. 
particles. Now we have copper on this island, but we do not have zinc. Yeah, okay. We've got copper, but we don't have zinc. Uh, let's build a build a mine there. Let's build a warehouse next to it. Now, where do we have zinc at? Please tell me I have zinc somewhere. Oh, geez, I don't have zinc anywhere. Okay, there's zinc over here. There's zinc right here on this small island, along with some coal, some more iron. Okay, it looks like this island right here is going to be our... Uh, wait, didn't I tell you to come up here? I thought I did. Okay, well, let's go get some materials. And let's go settle another island. Consumer goods. Just go ahead and take all of that. We'll come down here. This is going to cost us a lot of influence. And it's going to stink. Uh, yes, there we go. We have delivered. Yeah, settling this island is going to cost us a lot of money. 9700 for some potatoes. That's a uh, fair trade, seeing as how all those potatoes only got us like 4000 Come on, come on, come on. Good and ready. Oh, cotton fabric. Come on, get down here. 27. Okay, it's fine. Alright, here we go again. Huddlesome Bay. At least it's a shelter, the captain remarks. The men shut the doors on the wind. To find the building interior looked with frost, rusted hooks hang from the beams, relics of the short-lived fur trade. Compass are few and far between out here. I doubt Sir John would have passed it by. There must be some evidence of the lost expedition here. Let's take a look at our map. Where are we? Okay, so we, we went this way. So we're right here at the moment at this Huddleston Bay trading post. Okay. Search for signs of recent use or find information about the local area. Let's try to find information about the local area. Something to go on, at least. Whoever the fur traders were, they left in a rush. Papers and maps are strewn about. Some trodden and sodden into mush, a precious few dry and intact. Dockets are found relating to consignments received from a nearby Inuit settlement named um, Ivujevic. Yeah, Ivujevic, I got it which also happens to be marked on a fragment of map. The Inuit are sure to have noticed anyone passing through. Go back west and head to Baffling Island. Continue south towards the Inuits. Let's just go talk to the Inuits. The crew marked the position of the Inuit settlement and set sail. Okay. Let's provide some extra rations and continue. And let's come down here. The zinc is... All the way over there. Whoa. Okay. Warehouse. Uh, oh, dang it. I needed windows. I forgot to get windows. Flagship. Give me some windows. And bring those windows on down. And we'll set up a small charter route to bring the uh, copper, or the copper and zinc, or the zinc rather, back and forth. That's just Madame Kahina. Where is my flagship? And drop off. Go back. Not one I wanted to click. Build mine. Oh, we got our first visitor! 
finally, jeez, we got a house doctor who I'm pretty sure is absolutely useless. Yeah, you're uh, completely useless, aren't you? Uh, let's go sell that. Okay. There's our first zinc mine. We will let that build up just a bit before we set up a trade route. Okay, where's the brigantine? There it is. Um, we have the devil to okay, be right with you, buddy. Let me get him sailing down to Archie and sell that item off. All right, here we go. Nanook's Way, the route to the Inuit settlement, is a two-day trek by foot across the ice flats. A small expedition party set off, leaving the rest at sea to await their return. Although the going is tough, it is not with that which preoccupies the crew. As night falls, they are sure something has been following them. Uh-oh. Well, we don't have a great... Ugh, let's, try the, let's try this one. Let's stop for the night. It's a mother polar bear. Your watchman isn't used to such long days, struggling to keep his eyes open. A loud growl. A mother bear digs her claws deep in... Oh, jeez. Oh, let's try to defend ourselves. Years of ambush drills pay off. Your scout party reaches the Inuit sediment, uh, camp. Cool. Oh, God, we're running, at, we're running dangerously low on <laughs> morale. I don't like it. I just don't like it. We're running low. All right, he's going to go off and do that. Let us create a charter route to pick up uh, zinc. Let's go from here to Tenenry and pick all of it up. Go ahead and get that started by the time he gets over here because there he is off the map coming in. We should have a little bit of zinc built up. And, yeah, now we have enough for the Spectacles, finally. All right, Spectacles Factory. Oh, yeah, almost fit right there, don't you? You almost do, but, you know, it's not quite enough. Let's do that. That'll work for right now. Right, brass. I for completely forgot you have to have brass for this. Well, I guess the brass factory is going to go right over here. Thirty seconds, a minute, thirty seconds. Uh, where's? Yeah, so that one glass maker should be enough to f to satisfy one spectacle factory. And we just need 10 concrete, which we will get soon enough. Alright, let's see what happens. Uh, Ivujevic is a semi-permanent settlement. The Inuit appear worried, but nevertheless offer your men every hospitality, inviting them into a large igloo where they are served... That's not how you spell igloo. Where they're served a hearty meat stew under the silent gaze of what feels like the whole village. A girl, Tapisa, is able to translate, and the others warm up when they hear the story of your journey over the ice flats. Has ended. Oh, dang it. Dang it. Dang it. Okay, everything slow down. I hate that it continues in the background. Um, Not unless we get what God, seriously. We Blue bite. Lines. Make it pause while I'm doing this stuff. Jeez. So anyways, uh, we're trying to find, hey, we're trying to find Sir John. So where are we exactly on the map? So we have traveled this way, so now we're right here by Ivujevic. Okay. Good deal. Um, I'll offer relics for trade. Let's ask them how they got them. Tapisa explains that they traded with men like yours about a year ago. The men wanted to know about channels through the ice and traded their things for inst information. She points to the west coast of Terrier Island on your map. Okay. Ugh. Down to 33 morale. This is this is not going well. 
I might fail this expedition. <laughs> we might fail this expedition. Ugh, that'd be bad. The royal seal upon it. Got anything I want to buy? Nope. 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 One one click just to see. Uh yes, I'll actually trade that for that. Come back to town. Almost have enough concrete. I want to look after uh she has a gift for me. Alright, well we'll go up there and see what you got, which is probably gonna be a tiger, but you know, hey. Okay, well, while we wait for that, let's do a little more decorating around here. I want to fill in a few things. Not from that. Uh, Nom parks? No, 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 no. It was this. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Good deal. Just a, some, like, parkland around it or something. Trees. Just kind of fill in some gaps here. Alright, let's speed things up. I want to get that 10. Stuff does cost quite a bit, doesn't it? Wow, a thousand. Jeez, I didn't realize it cost so much. Nine! Come on, one more. There's fun to be found in everything, even quest your wonder. Um, gave me a decaying mummy, which actually sells for quite a bit. Cool. All right, there we go. Finally. Okay, decaying mummy. Thank you so much, but I'm going to sell that off because I don't want it. Let's go down to Madame Kahina. We will sell the mummy for thirty thousand. Hopefully that expedition will pop up. And hopefully we're almost done with the expedition before, you know, it fails on me. Because that would be absolutely terrible. Huh, some new relic sets here. I'll have to go and look and see what all those do. Come on. Can I help you? Yeah, you can help me by uh, taking that off my hands. Thank you. Put you on back down there. Alright, expedition time. The west coast of Terrier Island is snackled up with monstrous horns of ice. Navigation is going to be tricky. With the, will the narrows lead back once more to open water or will your in, ship end up stuck? You can navigate carefully, get a better view, or send scouts. Looks like our best chance is to find a path through the narrows. To your relief, your crew reaches the open sea on the other side. As there is a lack of consensus on Magnetic North, your navigators decide to ignore the compass and trust their instincts. The crew enters King William Sound, a majestic carpet of water leading up to its seat, King William Island. Sensing something, Lady Faithful suddenly emerges below from below deck and voices the determined hopes of her heart. Yes, we made it! Oh, look at it! Oh, look, it's an airship. They've tried everything, but then they haven't lost a husband. Oh, look how Nor pretty. did it occur to them to search King William Sound. There! They can't! They're so pretty! Oh, look at the camp! Abandoned. Uh oh, it's abandoned. We imagined as much, didn't we? And my John picked a fine spot. Perhaps they left some sign as to where they went. All right, we have finally reached the Arctic, guys. Oh, this is awesome. All new content. Yay, all new content. Let's rejoice for new content. I did say there would be rewards. 
Oh wow, fifty thousand. For finding my John's camp. Nice. Thank you. Game saved. Real quick, let's check the newspaper. Um, happiness, reprieve, and daring expedition. Publish. From here, New we can search to Admiral. any length and breadth. Okay, let's take a look around it's real quick. To be true. So there's Lady Faithful's ship, the Axum. This is the abandoned camp. The remains of the camp left behind the crew of the HMS Hades and Sticks. This is a small trading post. Just as they left it. We'll wait over the remains and then make a refuge for ourselves. I, I will in a second, lady. Just hold on. Okay, so what have we got on this island here? We have two gold deposits. Forests, caribou, whales, bear, and fur. There's something right there. Okay, there's old Nate. An, old, an airship is needed to access old Nate's workshop. Oh, so we get access to Nate's workshop still. So over here, we've got seals, bear, fur, and forest again. Look how pretty that is. Oh, look, and there's the caribou, and there's some wolves. Oh, this is this is lovely, guys. This is absolutely lovely. Again, whale, fur, caribou, okay. And lots of gold. Uh, oh, an unsettled island with gas on it. Okay. Lots of gas on these islands, and there's something right there. there That's the Inuit trading post, okay. I don't think they will help. So, lots of goods for sale. Caribou, whale, seal, pemmican, and bear fur, and some items. Uh, lots of animals, it looks like, Sherry for... Atop our beautiful friendship cake. Why so mean? Lots of items for uh, zoos and museums. Cool. All right, wonderful. Well, let's get started. Let's clear these remains of the camp. And we will uh, start over again here. Okay, uh, clear that, and we're going to clear the abandoned captain's lodge. Hold on, the crag. Heaped by Highland hand is well worth our time. So there's a cairn. First, get all ye faithful some shelter and a canteen where they can warm each other up. All right, well, let's read the log book here. John's log. Open it. He knew we would come the logbook of Commander Sir John Reginald Patience made camp on King William Island. It shall shelter us for the winter. Met a group of Inuit to the northwest. They were reluctant at first, but later approached us to trade for iron. They offered us dead seals, which of course we civilly declined, having enough fine canned food aboard sticks and Hades to last a lifetime. But instead, they made it. They may know a route to the northwest passage. The Inuit led it to a channel deeper. Hot, uh, heading deeper into the ice. Inuit looked worried, but our instruments report freeze is thinning by the day. Time for our mighty icebreakers to prove their prowess. Soon we shall bring the first to cut. We shall be the first to cut the miracle shipping canal bridging east and west. If HMS Hades and Sticks came this way, the Inuit must have seen them. Maybe they can help us. Okay, so they they were right here. Be the lead dog, and show where to go. Uh, they want a picture a of a seal or a sea monster. They want a picture of the sea monster. Okay. Uh, let's um. Oh jeez, I I need to I have too much stuff. <laughs> okay, this that'll work for now. Let's take that and we'll sail up here. So here's the Inuit. So I guess we have to sail up to them. Okay. So we need to build a canteen and six explorer shelters. So 
So warehouse, okay, so there's small explorer shelters. Canteen looks like it provides the same thing as like a market, basically. You reached a new milestone. It's actually kind of hard to uh, <laughs> to see. Up to freeze the balls off a of brass monkey. Oh, get a coal fire's burning post haste. Okay, so uh, he wants heaters, so he wants charcoal kilns. Okay, so our labor pool is explorers. We only have a uh, increase of six. Okay, so here's this. Okay, so we'll start with him. And a heater. Okay. That's going to take it a second. So the, uh, the Inuit Kumak is willing to show you where the lost expedition went. I feared you would come. I will show you where those men went. Not yet. Yes, I want to hand in the quest. So it gave us a seal for the polar circle. Okay. I'm actually also going to... Uh, I will do that here in just a moment. Not yet. Leave me alone, lady. I need to go. Warns you to build your building close to a heater. Okay. Alas, my bowels churn afresh. No, leave me alone, Archie. I'm 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 busy in the Arctic. So now we need to build uh, timber production. So let's go like maybe way over here and start timber production. Oh, that's nice on the ends. Keep it stoked and we'll catch our deaths out here. Okay. Let's move that around just a touch. Like so. There we go. All right, cool. Okay, he's gonna take him a minute to get back down because I need to drop some of this stuff off. Uh, she wants to settle on Avisha. Yeah, go ahead. You can do that. The Arctic. Oh, this is just so a cool. Raised a settlement. Yeah, that's fine. I know. I told her she could. I gave her permission. Oh, God, he's so slow to get down here. All right, so heaters are powered by coal and heat our buildings that is neat so we also are going to need so canteen pemmican and then oil lamps and then for heat the basic supply of heat and then we get sleeping bags and schnapps okay and right now they are chilly total heat plus two chilly little tents oh it looks so nice oh I love the way it looks Let's slow it down oh yeah I love the way this looks this looks awesome new orders Admiral come along I know you're, you're very slow You know what? We're just going to uh, we're just going to dump it overboard. Actually, I tell you what I'm going to do. Back to the old world real quick. Um, we have 
a brigantine. Let's send the brigantine to the Arctic and have him be one of our uh, ships up there. Awaiting new horizons. Clipper can go over here. Our flagship and our frigate will go here. Yeah, we'll send the brigantine to the Arctic and have him be our main ship up there. But for right now, we will use this, so... All right, guys, I hate to do this to you. We're 50 minutes in, but we finally got to the Arctic. So, oh, it took so long. But now we get to explore the frozen wastes of the north and build up a little settlement up here and see how it goes and see what all they need us to do and bring some Arctic good goodies back to the old world to supply tenantry. But that's all going to be in the next episode, guys. I hope you have enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.